In this video, we will be looking at different ways by which you can change context path in a Spring Boot application. So, what is a context path? A URL of an application looks like this. HTTP or HTTPS, followed by host or IP, colon, port, slash, a name. This portion of the URL is called context path. This is also the name of the application. This is a Spring Boot application running at port 8080. This is a controller which has a mapping for the root URL. Now, go to the browser and access the application URL, which is localhost, colon 8080. This obviously doesn't look good. It would be nice if it looked like localhost, colon 8080, slash demo app. Here, demo app is the context path, and we will look at how to add this to a Spring Boot application. Before moving further, subscribe to the channel, if you have not done so, to get future video updates. First way to configure context path is with application.properties file. Go to the resources folder under src slash main folder. Here you can see application.properties file. Add server.servlet.context-path property with its value to the required context path. Let's say demo app. Restart the application. You can see that it started with a given context path. Go to the browser. You can see that the application is not accessible at localhost colon 8080. Now add context path that we configured in application.properties file. And you can see that now the application is accessible. This is the first way to set context path in Spring Boot. This method is similar to the previous one, but instead of application.properties file, we set the property in our application code. Remove this property from here. Go to the main class. Before this line, add the same property using system.set property. Restart the application. You can see that the context path is successfully registered. Go to the browser and provide the URL along with the context path. It works perfect. In Java, a system property can be set from command line while running the application using hyphen D flag. Hyphen D flag should be immediately followed by the name of property and its value. Thus, context path can be configured by setting server.servlet.context path property from command line. Or you can also set the property with double hyphen. This is same as with hyphen D. For setting the property in Eclipse IDE, you need to set VM arguments for the application. Copy the property name and comment this line. Now, right click over the main class and select Run Configuration. Select Java application and click the plus icon at the top left to add a new run configuration. Check the name of project and its main class. If there are more than one projects, browse to select the required project. Click the Arguments tab and go to VM Arguments section. Write the server.servlet.context path property, preceded with hyphen D, and set its value to the desired context path. Click Apply and run the application. You can see that the context path is correctly configured. With run configuration, you can set any system property, such as line.separator, java.home, java.version, while developing applications. Context path can also be customized programmatically in Spring. For this, we need to create an object or bean of type web server factory customizer. Create a new class. Name it port customizer. Create a method that returns web server factory customizer. As you can see, web server factory customizer is a generic type. Supply its type as configurable servlet web server factory. Create a method customize port. You can name this method as you like. Now we need to return an object of type web server factory customizer from this method. 
Web Server Factory Customizer is an interface, and so, its object can only be created, as an anonymous inner class, as you can see in Auto Suggestion. This means that, we need to implement its methods, here only. Go to the definition of Web Server Factory Customizer. It has only one method, Customize, which takes, a single generic argument. Note that, the type of argument of Customize method, is the same, as the type of, Web Server Factory Customizer. Back to our class. Define Customize method. The type of its argument, will be configurable servlet web server factory, as explained just now. Look, configurable servlet web server factory, has a method set context path. Provide the context path that we need to set for the application. Think we are missing something. Oh, we should make it public. Since we need to register this object in spring context, we should mark it as a bean, with that bean annotation. And since this class contains bean definition, it should be marked with, at configuration annotation. Run the application. You can see that the context path is correctly configured. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching.